actually going to be true. Yeah, so we're going to start with the left hand side. We're just going to show that the left hand side, which is n choose r, we're just going to show that this is equal to, according to the formula, the left hand side is, maybe let me just work them out at the same time, like I said. So this side is going to be n factorial. Then you're okay with this being n, n choose what? n choose r, n minus r I mean, then factorial, then r factorial. It's the same as, here I'm just saying n factorial. Then this is n minus n minus r. Then this is a factorial. Then we have n minus r factorial this side. Is this okay up to here? Just this. Uh -huh. Then you will notice that this side will just bring it the same way. Here is step two. We'll just bring it the way it is. This is just that. Then we have r factorial. Then on the other side, here we are going to have n factorial. Uh, the guy which is down can actually be simplified to be uh, n because now I can write n minus n then plus r there's a factorial down then you see that this is n minus r factorial then this is going to be n factorial this is n minus r then factorial and r factorial this is n factorial n minus n disappears we just remain with r factorial so this is now, hope you're able to see that these things are one and the same. This, you see that we can rewrite the second one, the guy on the right. Factorial, R factorial is the same as R factorial. I just switch these, just interchange them so that you're able to see that they look alike. You notice that these are okay. Yeah, so this is the proof for the first part. That's how you show the first one. This one is the easiest. Now, how about this one? How do we show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side? Yeah. So this is just like that rule that I, I gave you. I think I gave you a rule that says they've just written it using k. Instead of n, they're using k. There's a rule that I gave you to say this plus n choose r minus 1 is the same as n plus 1. Then of choose r, right? Something, you remember something like this? Uh -huh. So this is basically what we need to, to prove. The only difference, again, is that where there's n, they've just put a k. So I'll start with the left as well. So here they're just saying k, mm, choose r minus 1, then plus k, choose r, is equal to, there's a k plus 1, and choose r. So first of all, I'll start with this one here. Yeah. Uh, this guy here, the, the, the one that is alone, this independent one, I'll start with the right hand side. So the right hand side is just going to be equal to k plus 1, then r is equal to, this is the same as k plus 1 factorial, then down we're just getting k plus 1 minus r. Then you have a factorial, then you have r factorial. So we can keep this for now. The other part, the left hand side, I'll come with the left hand side. The left hand side we had k and r minus 1. Then we have k and r. So if we solve these two together, trying to combine them, this is going to be k factorial over this is a k minus, this is r minus 1. The factor is here, then you're having r minus 1 factorial then plus this is just k there factorial then down you have in k minus r factorial then uh, r factorial then we can move this a bit this here is the same as um, let me see what we wrote here okay the right hand side was okay it's just like that so here we're just going to have our k factorial the bottom part is the same as negative times r negative times one so hope you are seeing that it will be the same as k plus one minus r then we're having a factorial then there's r minus one factorial are you okay with this part here in Yumezi? this part how it changed to be that uh -huh. then the other side is k factorial then this is just going to be k minus r factorial and r factorial now at this point we see that 
the top guys are the same, the numerators are the same. So the only distinguishing factors are the, the denominators. And what is big between k plus 1 minus r and k minus r is it? k plus 1 minus r. So k plus 1 minus r is bigger. So it's the one that we pick. Then what is big between r minus 1 factorial and r is just r factorial. That's what we pick. Are you okay with my choice of the denominators? Oh, okay. So if I give you um, k plus 1, which one is big between k plus 1 and k? Uh, so now imagine if I remove 1 there and I also remove r. I mean I remove all the same number. So which one will still be big? Which one is big between the two? Yes, so no wonder I'm choosing this guy to be the big one. This is the big one, right? Uh, so this is our guy that we put here. Then this is simply r, which is big. Then we are going to do what we always do. This into that. We know this will cancel with that. Then we're just saying r minus 1 into r factorial. So r minus 1 factorial into r factorial. So the guy which is on top, which is r, r is the same as r, r minus 1 factorial. Then you have r minus 1 down. So this can cancel. The answer is just r. So hope you will be okay with us multiplying k factorial with r. Is that okay? Then again, this other side we do the same. You notice that r factorial cancels with r factorial. What is k minus r into k plus 1 minus r? The answer is just uh, k, k plus 1. Let me show it to you. We're having k plus 1. I'm just trying to divide this. You should just look at it as if they are numbers. So I'm trying to divide this guy here. k minus r into k plus 1 minus r. So k plus 1 minus r factor is big. Then the k minus r is small. So this guy on top is the same as k plus 1 minus r. Then you subtract 1 from here, it will be k minus r. Then this is what? Factorial k minus r. Then this can cancel. So the answer is k plus 1 minus r, right? Uh -huh. So let me just make sure there is, there's a minus r here, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, there should be, yes, something like that. So now, what is common on the numerator is k factorial. So I'm going to factorize k factorial. What remains is r plus k plus 1, then minus another r. At the bottom, we're just having k plus 1 minus r. Then this is r factorial. Then this is just going to be on top. We're going to have k factorial. Then there's k plus 1. Then down you're having k plus 1 minus r. Then factorial and r factorial. Now you know to say, if I give you to say 7 factorial times 8, you know, it's the same as just saying 8 factorial, because 8 factorial is 8 times 7 factorial, right? Uh, so the guy on top, instead of saying, uh, instead of saying k factorial times k plus 1, we'll just say this is the same as k plus 1, the big one, k plus 1 factorial, then we're having k plus 1 minus r factorial, then r factorial. You'll notice that this is exactly the same thing we had on the right hand side. If you go back to the right hand side, you will see these guys are it's the same thing as that. Uh -huh. So that's how we prove number number 14. So once you show that the left is equal to the right, you say hence shown.